Hi, David Arlman here. Welcome to today's video in which we're going to talk about creating some rhythm phrases that don't necessarily work on a micro level when you're just looking at the bar. It doesn't work. But if you look at the overall song, it's creating a really interesting groove that does fit the overall song. <laughs> and that's what today's lesson is all about. It's really simple. For the purpose of the demonstration, we're going to use common time, 4-4, four, four, a 4-4 four, four time signature is basically meaning that we have four quarter notes per bar. Very common, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But this will work with any time signatures, seven eights, three fours, it really doesn't matter. But we need to, to find a subdivision within our time signature that is going to be our, our internal pulse. So if this is our tempo, we can do eight notes. Da, 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 da. That works. That's totally fine. And we're going to build some phrases that don't fit our, our bar. So uh, first of all, what is a phrase that would fit a common time bar? Well, a common time bar is a 4-4 four, four bar, 4-4 four, four measure. So we have four quarter notes. So a phrase with four quarter notes would fit our bar. Da, 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 da. Super boring, right? But a phrase like that would work. And so forth. Um, a phrase with um, four eights would work. So four eights, ba, 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 like that. Repeated over and over. If I if I build a phrase, ba, 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 da, ba, 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 da, ba, 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 ba it would work because it makes sense. It falls on one of the logical beats. And if you loop that over and over, it's always going to start on the bar. Now, something that would not fit would be a phrase in seven, for example. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. See, the one doesn't start on the, the first beat of each measure because it's seven, seven eighths just doesn't. It starts somewhere else each time. And if we add a pitch to that, right? That does not fit, yet there is this continuity that does make it work. So we're going to practice that first with speech, just the rhythm aspect to get comfortable with that. Then we will graduate to, to notes on our instrument in a real musical context. But it's a concentration thing. So let's pick up a sentence or a phrase. Um, we'll do, I am hungry. Yes, I am. I am hungry. Yes, I am. Okay, seven syllables. Okay, so this is our beat. We're using eighth notes for the subdivision. Da, da, da. I am hungry, yes I am, I am hungry, yes I am, I am hungry, yes I am, I am hungry, yes I So you really need to, to loop that, concentrate on what you're saying, but you're also hearing what this is doing. Now add notes to that, it's going to be a little more challenging mentally. You really have to focus on what you're doing, you'd be aware of what others are doing, but it creates a really interesting rhythm interactions between what's playing over the with the backing track of the band and what you're doing and it's complementary. And doing that even if with very very simple musical lines will create something more complex if it's if it's played with other people. It's that interaction that that creates that organic type of thing. Okay, let's make this a little more interesting. We're going to apply this to our instrument. We have a seven syllable phrase. I am hungry. Yes, I am. And this phrase is made of two sentences. I am hungry, four. Yes, I am, three. So four and a three. We're gonna be in the key of G major, have a backing track. We'll try that over the, the, the track after this. So the first lick of phrase or idea is gonna be made of four notes. We can do something like this. One, two, three, four. I am hungry. And then we have an idea with three. Yes, I am, yes, I am. That works. I am hungry, yes I am. And we're gonna loop that. I am hungry, yes I am. Da, 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 da. Okay. 
that idea has been a seven eighth no eight and eighth notes so it's not really going to fit our at, a, at the micro level it's not going to fit the bar but if we loop that over and over over our track it's going to help you to try this on your own find simple musical phrases that you can loop that don't work with the micro level that don't work with the measure itself but that will work with the overall song and you'll see that at some point you're gonna catch up that phrase is gonna start on the beat at some point later on in the song but you really have to focus on what you're playing and, and hear and enjoy what everything is, is, is doing together what that does with the other musicians. And if you want a step-by-step -step method to do that, this week is the week to get in the origin class. My buddy Klaus Levin and I have come up with this course. This is a full rhythm course, not just for the rhythm players, for musicians who want to, to sound more focused and really embed into their fingers all the different rhythm motifs that they need to bring their playing alive. The course comes with the full training video it also comes with 20 awesome backing tracks, 40 focused licks, and this is a time sensitive thing because we're gonna coach you through the whole thing. As soon as you purchase the Origin course, you'll have full access to the full training, the backing tracks, and the licks, and starting next week, you're gonna to start to receive four weeks of training material in forms of videos that Klaus and I are gonna prepare specifically to help you master all the things that you're getting with that origin course. Really, get in right now before it's too late. And if you don't, I still would love for you to, to work on these concepts. It's really gonna make a huge difference in your playing, I guarantee it. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you next time.